selected recipes from Things Mother Used to Make by Lydia Maria Gurney. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Reading by Bologna Times. Selected recipes from Things Mother Used to Make by Lydia Maria Gurney. To can peaches. One quart of peaches, one cupful of sugar, two cupfuls of water. Be sure to have the jars perfectly clean and warm. Glass covers are always preferable. Make a syrup of the sugar and water. Boil this hard for five minutes. Set back on the stove and let it settle. Then skim very thoroughly. Pare, cut in half, and remove the stones from the peaches. When the stirrup comes to a boil, put in enough peaches to fill your jar, whatever the size. Boil until tender enough to pierce with a wisp. Take the fruit out carefully with a spoon and place in the jar. Fill the jar with the boiling syrup, being careful always to cant the jar as you pour it in. If you do this, the jar will never crack, as it is likely to do if held perfectly straight or upright. Always run around the inside of the jar with a silver knife, and you will have no trouble in keeping fruit. Seal while hot. The peaches may be canned whole, if preferred. Boston Brown Bread One cupful of rye meal, one cupful of graham meal, one cupful of Indian meal, one cupful of sweet milk. 1 cupful of sour milk, 1 cupful of molasses, 1 teaspoonful of salt, 1 heaping teaspoonful of soda. Stir the meals and salt together. Beat the soda into the molasses until it foams. Add sour milk, mix all together, and pour into a tin pail, which has been well greased, if you have no brown bread steamer. Set the pail into a kettle of boiling water and steam three or four hours, keeping it tightly covered. Brown bread baked. One cupful of Indian meal, one cupful of rye meal, a half cupful of flour, one cupful of molasses, scat, one cupful of milk or water, one teaspoonful of soda. Put the meals and flour together. Stir soda into molasses until it foams. Add salt and milk or water. Mix all together. Bake in a tin pail with cover on for two and a half hours. Delicious Dip Toast Cut slices of bread one half inch thick. Toast each side to a delicate brown. Dip these into hot salted milk, letting them remain until soft. Lay them on a platter and spread a little butter over each slice. Take one quart of milk, more or less according to size of family. Heat in a double boiler, salt to taste. Wet two tablespoons of flour with a little water, stir until smooth, and pour into the milk when boiling. Make this of the consistency of rich cream. Add a piece of butter the size of a walnut and pour over the toasted bread. Serve hot. How to Corn Beef A piece of fresh beef weighing seven or eight pounds is sufficient for a family of eight. Wash, clean, and put it in an earthen dish 24 hours before cooking. Cover with cold water and add a cup and a half of ice cream salt. When ready to cook it, remove from the brine and wash, placing it in cold water. Cook four hours. Corned beef hash. Corned beef, milk, potatoes, salt and pepper, lump of butter. Chop the meat fine. Add the same bulk of potatoes or a little more. Put into a saucepan or spider a lump of butter the size of an egg and a few spoonfuls of milk or water. When bubbling, put in the meat and potatoes and a little salt and pepper if you like. Stir for a while, then let it stand 10 or 15 minutes until a crust is formed at the bottom. 
Loosen from the pan with a cake turner. Turn a warm platter over it. Turn pan and hash together quickly and serve. If you have a scant quantity, place it on slices of toasted bread, which have been buttered and wet with hot water. Mincemeat 4 cupfuls of chopped meat 12 cupfuls of chopped apples 2 cupfuls of chopped suet 1 cupful of vinegar 3 cupfuls seeded raisins 1 cupful of currants 5 cupfuls of brown sugar 1 and a half cupfuls of molasses 6 teaspoonfuls of cinnamon 3 teaspoonfuls of cloves 1 teaspoonful of nutmeg quarter pound of citron, rind and juice of one lemon, butter the size of an egg, and salt. Moisten with cold coffee or strong tea. Cook slowly two hours. Mixed pickles. Two quarts of green tomatoes, two quarts of cucumbers, two quarts of small onions, two heads of cauliflower, two green peppers, one gallon of vinegar, one half pound of ground mustard, three cupfuls of sugar, one ounce of turmeric powder, one cupful of flour, one cupful of salt. Cut the tomatoes, cucumbers, onions, cauliflower, and peppers into small pieces. Pour over them boiling brine made of three quarts of water and one cupful of salt. Let this stand 24 hours, then pour off the brine. Stir the flour, mustard, sugar, and turmeric powder together, and wet with a little of the vinegar. Then stir it into the boiling vinegar, as you would make gravy. Put the other ingredients in, and simmer together until all are tender. Seal in glass jars. Connecticut Clam Chowder 3 or 4 slices of salt pork 3 potatoes two-thirds of an onion, one cupful of tomatoes, three crackers, one teaspoonful of parsley, twenty-five soft-shelled clams, one quart of water, salt and pepper, one cupful of milk. Cut three or four slices of salt pork and fry in the bottom of a kettle. Add the potatoes, cut into dice, onion shaved, a cupful of stewed tomatoes, rolled ship crackers, minced parsley, soft-shelled clams, and boiling water. Add salt and pepper to taste and cook till the potatoes are tender. A little hot milk may be added just before taking up. Baked Tomatoes 6 tomatoes, 2 cupfuls of breadcrumbs, small piece of onion, a few stalks of celery hearts, salt and pepper to taste. Cut off a small piece of each tomato and scoop out the inside. Mix this with two cupfuls or the same amount of breadcrumbs, the chopped onion, salt, and pepper. Then fill the tomatoes with this mixture, putting small pieces of butter over the top. Place these in a pan in which is a very little water to prevent sticking and bake in a hot oven from 20 minutes to half an hour. Cold Catsup One pack of ripe tomatoes, two tablespoons of salt, one teacupful of white mustard seed, two teacups full of chopped or ground onions, one teacupful of sugar, two tablespoons full of pepper, four red peppers, eight celery stalks or two ounces of celery seed, two teaspoons full of ground cloves, three pints of vinegar. Drain the tomatoes well before mixing. Mix together, let stand a few hours, and it is ready for use. Ribbon Cake 3 eggs, 2 cupfuls of sugar, 2 thirds cupful of butter, 1 cupful of milk, 3 cupfuls of flour, 1 teaspoonful of cream of tartar, 1 tablespoonful of molasses, a little salt and flavor, lemon or almond, 1 large cupful of raisins, a quarter pound of citron, 1 teaspoonful of cinnamon and cloves, a little nutmeg, half teaspoonful of soda. Cream the butter and sugar together and add the well-beaten eggs and the milk. Mix the salt, 
soda, and cream of tartar with the flour. Stir all together. Put half of this mixture into two oblong pans. To the remainder add one tablespoonful of molasses, one large cupful of raisins stoned and chopped, a quarter of a pound of citron sliced thin, one teaspoonful of cinnamon and cloves, a little nutmeg, and one tablespoonful of flour. Bake in two pans of the same size as used for the first half. Put the sheets together while warm, alternately with jelly between. End of Selected Recipes from Things Mother Used to Make by Lydia Maria Gurney